All right, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to some more GTA 5. We're back with Michael in our car with the nice money tires. So, uh, can I like turn this down? Uh, audio. All right. So, uh, in the last episode, we um got the news that we were the associate producer to Solomon's film. So yeah, Michael feels proud of himself. He feels like he actually did something. And uh, we got a call that we have to do another heist for the FIB, so can't wait to see what we have to do now. Yeah, we have been with Michael for the past few episodes, ever since we rescued him. And the Chinese. Yeah, and Trevor hates us, so. Hope we get back together. And. Oh, yeah. And the big heist, like the huge one, is gonna be held off for some time. Due to Trevor and Michael's fight. So. Hope they get their relationship back together. We just want that money. Oh, and I also want Michael's family to come back. That'd be good. So, uh, alright, we're here. Back at the warehouse. From the first heist. Let's see what Lester has to say. Let's put that shock on the way. What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. What else? Yes, anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, this shit's about to hit the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry, because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> Think I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some, uh, Evidence, and I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? You want Lester here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. And if you do this, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey, it's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course. I'm a man of my word. Dave, let's go. Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. All right. So, it's the one last heist for the FIB. Take us to the bureau, parking garage entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really, but I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp. I'm sorry. Andre, I cannot listen to the recording. I'm sorry. They ask for a day off. 
So, we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Look at the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. We'll follow him, see what we think. Sounds good. Oh, missed the turn. Sorry. I'm trying to memorize that license plate. I think it was 83QSL or something like that. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Alright. Let's wait for the janitor. Here we go. Nope. I didn't catch that. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, here we go. Ooh, what's this? Nope. That's not it. So what do we do? Well, what can we do? We do the job. Then maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That might be a way out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. That's it? Come on, third one's charm. This nope. is not the car we're looking for. It's right. hard to get motivated on a job without financial it's incentive. Be this guy. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Come on. It's gotta be the last one. Something's coming. Nope. Uh, not our guy. Alright. I guess the fifth one. This is gonna be the charm. Uh. All right. Is this him? That's yep, the that's one. Him. Let's go. You know the drill. Couple of car lengths. All right. So I guess I don't get too close. What's gonna though? happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's gonna get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. <laughs> okay. Alright, stay here. Gosh, I hate playing GTA 5. Obeying the, the laws, man. <laughs> hey, you mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. Now, let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. Michael is pissed, and he does not like I smartphones. Just spoke with Agent Haynes. We've got the budget to pull this off. Good. Come on. Come on. What do we do when he gets home? What do we need from him? We need cooperation, and maybe his overalls and an ID. And if he don't cooperate? You know what it's like to clean up shit for Steve Haynes? He'll cooperate. What? Was that to me? <laughs> Alright, come on. Dude, are these... Are they talking to me?
Oh my gosh, these lights, man. Finally, oh my gosh. I'm just like real life, man. <laughs> oh, turning left. Oh my gosh. How do I hear? Classic GTA characters, man. Can these things go already? I hope we're close. Finally. Alright, we're turning. I think this is... Oh, is he stopping? He's pulling over. Stop All down right. the road a ways. Finally. Alright. Should I go to now or? Hey Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Alright, let's follow this guy in. Alright. And let's go. So do I just walk in? You got another one of those, Harvey? Who are you? The guy with your best interests at heart. Fill your pockets with money and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Good. Hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Wow, that was real easy. Alright. So, are we done? Successful? Oh, yeah. We gotta go back to my office. Alright. Let's go. That was easy. Yep. You were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. Faye, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm gonna find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. No, we've just taken the wrong contracts. Ah, All right. he's already here. Let's go to the office. What's the problem, dog? Steve fucking Haynes. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, that old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Yeah, whatever, dog. It's either this or dealing dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need find out something 
about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not online anywhere. I'm gonna need paper copies. Now, the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog, I got you. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Alright, so that was a little setup for the Bureau Heist. Oh my gosh, Michael. Alright, alright, we have another mission, which is at Michael's. Alright. Radio. It's a nice, Shit. it's a nice speedway. Gotta turn. I finally think I'm getting the hang of this driving. Alright. Final road. Another Michael mission. <gasps> Reuniting the family. Hey, finally. you okay I just I get so mad and I can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me my life sucks right now and I don't know what to do except I want to say I love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just well I'd say gay but I have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that I don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other, and you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. So will you buy me a car? What? I mean, <laughs> oh my not in gosh. a so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off-topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you two, Dad. Yeah. Hey, uh, how's your mother? Oh, she's great. <sighs> no, she's not. She's bored. 
I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all. But what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right. I can take a fucking hint. Let's go. We get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. Mom said she was at Bean Machine. All right. Go to Bean Machine. So we're picking them up. So, what's been happening? You know, uh, I don't know s stuff. No, I don't know. Well, what's been happening with you? Uh, thanks. It's been. It's. Damn, they're it's this close. Gets. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. There they are, outside. Come on, let's say hi. Look, Caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle goo. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. This is true. A picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time, nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. Well, what are you doing? Uh, 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 I had some really good work there, you dick! There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I wanted... I'm meaning to say to you, look, I just... What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say... Shut up! I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. Get up, you idiot. Oh. Yoga? No. No yoga. <sighs> All right. You know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait. But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on. I want one too. Later. I think Tracy's over at the tattoo parlor. All right. Next tattoo. What? Tracy's getting another tattoo. No, oh god no. That Laszlo guy's there. Laszlo, that asshole. What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo short. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey. Let me ask you, back there with your mom, that went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst... Oh, that that guy, guy, that guy. Gosh, yeah, my bad. with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I think they're in here. I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes. Even if <laughs> whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show amongst the 40-year-old female demographic. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh. Whoa, whoa Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, if you find the Yankslinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, 
please. Whoa, 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 whoa. Stay put, you lame ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? Oh. <laughs> Come on, my punk days are long oh. behind me, man. Through the ear. Fucking <laughs> Jesus. Come on, just off the tongue. I. Oh! Are you popping a fucking tent over here, you fucking psycho? <laughs> ah! Ow! Oh, ho, ho, that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh, my God! Papa Bear! What's Daddy number two gonna think about this? Let's not get him involved. Let's do... If I knew I was getting this much Just, work done, I would have brought course. a camera crew. Oh, you butcher! Oh, my gosh. Get off! <laughs> How about I throw all those three little pubic hairs on here, too? Uh, there we go. Oh, nice. Uh, you got like a camera phone or a mirror? I can oh, yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. Oh, nice this. Uh, 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 snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Like men, you know, if you catch my drift. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. <sighs> yeah. All right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. We should right. chill Who time. knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew! Are you serious? Come on! No! Not quite. Finally back Not with the fan. Not difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help for dysfunctionals. Hey, this was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh, yeah, like, ow! Our old man released the dude's inner train. Shit! Drive carefully! Release the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bad here. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? You show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I contort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. You're like finally like using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good not an objective universal good but like a subjective what's in our best interest kind of good fuck yeah awesome let's rob somebody <laughs> do it dad yeah do, do it. it do, do it. it enough okay i love that we're getting along but knock it off yeah, don't like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Michael, kids, let's go inside. Okay. Amanda. Are you gonna take us home then? Damn, it's you know, there 4K was a moment line. there. I thought, what? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. Maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right, I just don't want it to be more of the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, 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 not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do, all of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. 
No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Friedlander, or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. Or the hippie bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our deaths, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor? There's no explaining, Uncle T. We're back, guys. I'm so happy. Kids? Alright, if you guys like this video, just leave a like and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.